everybody. Nice of you to join me today. Thanks for coming. Um, all right. This is supposed to be a juice review. Um, however, it's not going to be like the standard juice reviews you're used to seeing on other people's channels. Uh, for the very simple reason that these juices are already gone. Okay. Spoiler alert. They're good. All right. Um, sorry. Um, little hair tickling me here. Um, I got these in about a couple of weeks ago and, um, well, I wanted to give them a really good shot. I'm not a normal person when it comes to buying juices and vaping, uh, premium, uh, commercial juices. I DIY my own juices, not just because I like what I make and I prefer to have absolute control over what I make, which I do, but also because I'm a cheap son of a bitch. Okay. I'm proud of it. <laughs> what can I tell you? Um, I, I have bought, uh, commercially made juices in the past. I have been, shall we say, less than impressed by a lot of them. And I'm not going to get into the different juices, what companies they are. I'm not going to call anybody out. It, that's, it's irrelevant. I have also bought some juices in the past that were absolutely fantastic. Now, all of these juices that were sent to me, all three of these juices that were sent to me today, uh, that I'm reviewing today, were sent to me free for the purpose of review. And I have been absolutely trying to get to do this review for the past few weeks. And one thing has led to another. Either work has reared its head or the TPD thing came down or the FDA thing came down. And well, one thing led to another and they just kept getting pushed back on the burner and it was not fair of me to do that and I apologize to the guys over at Vape Milk for not getting to these things any time sooner. Um, the three that were sent to me for this review were Melt, Pink Haze, and Paris. And I'm going to address, addressed, oh boy, rented lips today. I'm going to address each and every one of these in that order. So let's take a look at Melt first. All right, this is the bottle that it comes in. Um, it's a little bit bright there, but you can see what they look like. The ones that were sent to me were sent to me in six milligram strength. Um, Melt is a melon, mango, milk, custard, and peach flavor. Um, I'm going to read you exactly what they wrote on their website so that you can hear what they say. Uh, taste refreshing melon, cantaloupe, mix in... Mm, I'm doing good. Take refreshing melon cantaloupe, mix in milk notes, and top it off with juicy mango, peach, and custard. You'll have a tropical vape that melts in your mouth. Melt perfectly balances these exotic flavors with milk for a truly unique blend that will leave your taste buds melted. Quote, close quote. Okay. Mm, you'll have to excuse me. My sinuses are going into thermal meltdown today. I don't know why, but they are. Um, it is a very, very good vape. Um, I'm not usually into the melon type of um, juices, but this one in particular is very good. Um, when you first vape it, You'll get the uh, melon and the mango with the milk coming in on the inhale. As you exhale, you'll get the custard and the peach. Uh, the peach rides on top of the custard very, very nicely. It is an absolutely gorgeous vape. Okay. 
Um, if I were making a juice, this is the way I would want it to come out. The custard gives it the basic flavor. It's the basis on which everything else is built. The milk presents itself as a secondary base on the inhale. But when you exhale, everything comes together. The flavor of the, uh, the, the mango, the melon, the milk, along with the peach and the custard, which come out particularly on the exhale, is absolutely fantastic. All right? Um, highly recommended. If you like any one of the flavors or all of the flavors that are mentioned in the flavor profile for Melt, then you're definitely going to like this one. The next one I'm going to talk about is Pink Haze. Okay? Um, this is a strawberry cream with strawberry shortcake and custard. I'm going to read you exactly what they wrote on their website so you can get an idea of what they uh, what they say it's supposed to taste like. Uh, Pink Haze by Vape Milk is definitely a fan favorite. This amazing creamy custard strawberry flavor will blow your mind away. The softly sweetened strawberry custard slash cream all day vape is one of the best juices we have ever tried. We aren't exaggerating. This juice is not too sweet, smooth, and well-balanced. This juice will be one of your favorites too, and you wouldn't be, and why wouldn't it be blah, blah, blah. Okay. I'm not very good at reading out loud to people. Um, this is a very good juice. The strawberry and cream presents on the inhale. It, the milk lays down a nice flavor and gives it a body as you're inhaling and the strawberry rides above it. The strawberry creamish flavor rise above it, rides on that. The strawberry shortcake and custard once again comes out on the exhale. Um, it mixes together and you taste the strawberry and predominantly the custard with a little bit of the shortcake at the very bottom to give it a base and foundation. Okay. Um, they describe it as being a all day vape and yeah, it is. Uh, both the melt and the pink haze are two juices that you can very easily, very easily take with you and vape through your day at work, riding around the car, going out, doing your errands or whatever. They're really good. The next one, this one here, is going to take a little bit of explaining. This one is the Paris. Where is it? Yeah, here we go. This one is the Paris. And the reason why I saved this one for last is because, in my personal opinion, this is the best one of all three of them. Paris is, according to the flavor profile that they had on their website, French vanilla sweet cream, marshmallow, vanilla bean gelato, and milk. Well, the vanilla bean gelato actually comes through as a vanilla bean custard. The French vanilla cream and the marshmallow come in on the inhale. And it has just the right amount of sweetness to turn around and make the French vanilla sweet cream just pop. The vanilla bean gelato and the milk comes out on the exhale and just rounds everything totally off. Um, it is absolutely fantastic. Um... This was the first one that I actually tried because when they contacted me, they asked me to take a look at their website and give them three of the flavors that worked in with my flavor profile. Now, they have two other flavors on there, one called Lush, which is a honey pineapple cream milk with a cinnamon exhale, 
and Rio, which is basically a Fruit Loops type with strawberry milk. Now, a lot of people like the Rio type of sound, uh, taste. Um, I'm not into the cereal tastes myself. I'm really not. Um, so what I did was is I chose the, these three. The one I really wanted to try was the Paris because it just, I mean, the, the flavor profile that they presented was, it was just right there right exactly where I would, what I would like to make for myself. So when it came in, this was the first one I tried. Now, a little backstory so you can understand what I'm going to, what I'm going to say as I'm in, in the few minutes. I am a custard junkie. I have been a custard junkie since I was about two or three years old. So it's many, 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 many years ago. To this day, if a flan or a standard custard comes within the reach of my arms, it will get taken away from you and it will be inhaled into this body in very, very quick order. Okay? Um, just saying, be forewarned, this is where it's at and how it is. There are no, there are no ifs, ands, or buts about it. When I tried this Paris, the first vape I took on it, I was in heaven. Well, when I was a kid, on Fridays, on, actually on Thursdays, um, I would go out with my mom. She would have to drag me out with her to do the shopping. <clears throat> Excuse me. The only way she would get me to behave through not only the supermarket... Um, the ladies' stores that she went to to get certain items for herself and other various things was that if you're not a good boy, we won't hit the deli and you won't get your custards. That generally got me to behave. The last store on the list would, of course, be the deli. We would go in. The second I walked in, the deli man would see me. He would go grab a slice, nice big slice of bologna like this, come out from behind, hand me the bologna, and I would proceed to devour it. Mom would be making her order. I would be sitting back happily devouring a nice big thick piece of bologna about this thick. And of course, we're talking the deli bologna, so it's about this big around. Um, when that was finished, my mother will have, or would have already ordered a custard with a plastic spoon, which she would then hand to me and I would sit there and I would be slurping this down. And I would be in hog heaven. Okay? That would usually take approximately a minute and a half to two minutes to be finished. Along with me licking out the inside of the aluminum foil cup. Yes, I still do that for those of you who might be asking. At which time my mother would be handing me a second one, which would, of course, last just about as long. Maybe just a little bit longer. Um, she would also be buying about six or eight of those custard cups to go home with us. Supposedly, supposedly, to last through until the next day when dad would come home and we would all sit down and we would have a deli dinner. 
yeah, fat chance, pale face. It wasn't happening. If those six or eight custard cups managed to make it through the evening, they were very lucky. Okay? Just saying here. This is the truth. Well, long story short, when I opened up the Paris and I took the first vape on it, suffice it to say, I was back at being a kid. I was so taken with that juice, I had to go in and, well, luckily I didn't have to wake my wife up. She was just laying there in bed um, listening to one of her YouTube videos. And I said, Chris, I want your opinion on this. So she sat up and she's like, what is this, another juice? I'm like, yeah. I want your opinion on this. I want you to tell me what you think of this. Okay. She goes, um, don't you have your own opinion? Uh, yes, I do have my own opinion, but I want your opinion on this, especially since I'm going to be doing a review on this. And, um, I want the opinion of somebody who doesn't vape and who has a very, very acute sense of smell. After all, Vapors are going to have to vape this stuff around uh, those who are not vapors. So I want their, your opinion to give, let me know what they will think. Okay, she says. So she sits up and in any other situation, blowing vape in someone's face um, would be considered rude. Not in this one. I proceeded to blow a nice big cloud right into her face from a few feet away so it would have a chance to billow out and get all of the flavors and everything else to present. She immediately went, Ooh, what is that? I showed her the bottle. She was like, I like that. Do that again. I did it again. She was like, oh my God, that smells just like some of the coffee shops I used to haunt when I was in college. I'm like, is that good or is that bad? She goes, oh, that's very good. That's oh so very good. And I'm like, okay, so you really like this. And she was like, yes, I love this. So she goes, can I taste it? I'm like, this has nicotine in it. You sure you want to try it? Yes, I want to try it. So I proceeded to take, had her ball up her fist like this, proceeded to put a drop, one drop here on, the, on her hand, she took a lick on it, and she's like, oh, my God, that is so good. Oh, my God, the back of my throat is going numb. I'm like, relax, that's the nick. It'll pass. It's not going to hurt you. Oh, my God, I like the flavor on this. This is so good. Yada, da, yada, da. Um, yeah. Long story short again. You guys at Vape Milk, my wife specifically instructed me to tell you that she is giving you a 42nd Street and Broadway shout out on the Jumbotron. She likes your stuff. She likes the stuff so much that I ordered 120 mils of it for myself in six milligram. I like it too. I like it very much. So much, you can see how much. Uh, that was full up to here three days ago. Yeah, I like it that much. 
I've got a third of this bottle left. This is 120 mils. Yeah. Well, I, I do have to admit, I still have about 30 mils left in my Seb, my um, Quellmaster Seb bottle that I take with me. I have maybe five or six mils left in here. Uh, I have another one up there that's also got juice in it, and I still have some in this K-Fun here, which is my going-to-work K-Fun. Uh, yeah. I guess you kind of got the idea that I really like this juice. I like it so much that I haven't even made juice for myself in the last two weeks, which I have absolutely promised myself that I would do because I've just been too damn lazy and too damn complacent and too damn happy all rolled into one to actually go and make myself some juice. Sorry. I know I keep, I keep rubbing my nose, but it's because my sinuses are like in thermal meltdown today. Um, I guess it's this, this drizzly rainy weather that we've got. That's like that. Plus I'm putting a lot of VG through my nose. What can I tell you? Um, yeah. Look, if you like custards, if you like vanilla bean gelato flavored custards, you like something that is going to transport you back to when you were a kid, when you were sitting there slurping on a custard or a flan, which is also a custard. Um, yeah, you want this juice. You really do. Guys, two thumbs up. Um, I will have to get on to you about getting a 30 mil bottle from you. Um, zero Nick. My wife likes this stuff, is the smell of this so much. She wants to use it as a body rub. So I got to get zero Nick for her. If you happen to see this, could you shoot me an email? Let me know how much and we'll work out the details from there. Please. Pretty please. Thank you. Um, I will tell you this. They have a five pack sampler in the 30 mil size, but it's $44.95. They also have a five pack sampler in the 120 mil size of all five of their juices. That's the three that I'm reviewing here today, plus the Lush and the Rio for $114.95. Their normal 120 mil sizes like this one, and I'll show you that it is a 120 mil size. You can see the size of the two of them it's next to each other. Okay. Uh, this is $22.99. Um, they take all the major, major credit cards because I had no problems when I was ordering this thing. It comes in 0, 3, 6, and 12 milligram strengths, and all of their juices are 80 VG, 20 PG. So, I think that's pretty much it. I give each one of these flavors, well, except for the Paris, the Melt and the Pink Haze, each get a big thumbs up from me. The Paris get a double thumbs up from me, plus a 42nd Street and Broadway Jumbotron street shout out from my wife. So... I think that covers it. Um, I apologize for this not being the standard um, juice review that everybody usually likes. I'll, you know, I'll what? I'll, I'll give you the clouds if that's what, if that'll make you happy. There you go. You got your clouds. Okay? No. That just made me happy. Very happy. Guys, thank you for joining me today. Like I said, my apologies for this not being your standard juice review. Uh, to the folks over at Vape Milk, my apologies for taking so long. I hope this was sufficiently to your liking. Um, 
thank you very much for sending this stuff on to me. You have made me a very, very happy man. And you've made my wife a very, very happy wife. Which has in turn made me an even happier man. Just saying here. Thank you very much for joining me. Take care. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be ever at your back. May God hold you in the palm of his hand. And may you be in heaven a half an hour before the devil knows you're dead. And don't forget, by the way, get on to your U.S. representative. Get on to your two state senators. Tell them that you want them to support not just the Cole Bishop Amendment, but you also want them to support H.R. 2058. Fight for your right to vape. Otherwise, under FDA's new regulations, these are going to become as extinct as the dodo bird and the passenger pigeon. And everything I've said here will be totally superfluous. Take care. God bless.